Why hello there! If you're new, welcome for your first time ever. If you're coming back, I'm super happy you're back. I have something that I think is a little bit uh, unique. When I first saw these a while ago, I had to order them. This series is like beloved by so many people, so I'm just like... And along with myself, you know, like I really love this series and... I had to get them. Uh, we have two things that we're looking at today, actually. We're looking at some bookends from Dark Horse Deluxe. And they make a lot of good stuff, by the way. If you haven't gone to the website, you should go. Not sponsored, obviously. But they have really good stuff. And today we're going to be looking at two of the bookends. We're going to be looking at Avatar Aang and Avatar Korra. These are limited bookends. And they are numbered, so that means they only have a certain amount of pieces. So, I'm super excited. Uh, let's jump into it. We're going to start off with one, and then we'll go to the other one and go from there, basically. Okay, so we're starting off with Avatar Korra. I, it's a little bit controversial about who's the best or who's better, whatever. I don't care about that. I personally love Aang over Korra. So I'm leaving Aang for last because we're saving the best for last. So that's the end of that. The packaging, when you first, like when it ships to you, they were actually stuck together, like taped together, which I thought was hilarious. I had never seen them before. But here's the, the box. I did want to show this because it has a couple of, of things here that, you know, matter. It's 598 out of 1000. So that's kind of the information that it's showing you there. And then everything else is not important. So let's open up the box. Okay, so let's look at the, the very front of the box. We have Korra, and they do show you the style in which she's posed, so I'm really, really excited. And and just tells you, Avatar Korra bookend, limited edition of 1000. So pretty straightforward. On the side, we have really simplistic packaging, actually. I don't think that's a bad thing, though. I very much like the aesthetic that they were going for. It's very, like, earthy, very natural i i really like it actually I, I like it a lot but um same thing on the side here and then we come to the back i personally like the back a lot um i believe this is possibly like the inspiration or concept art behind the posing for the book end um and you can see like rava on her chest and everything she's in her avatar state so i like this a lot and i love just the style of it um but again it doesn't have much more information than that so um let's just get right into it i didn't show the other side over here i showed this one it's exactly the same so didn't feel like i needed to show it but let's open it let's open it for the packaging to open it it's actually pretty simple it's just this little flap here and then you have the two wow and like right off the bat when you open it you get like this little piece of paper Okay, so it's like the paper kind of to tell you if you don't have just like the cardboard box or if you throw it away to tell you what your number is. It's just, it's literally just like a, what? I like this. It feels a little cheap. <laughs> if I'm being honest. um, Because like, okay, yeah, it's 598 out of 1,000. However... Um, I know a lot of uh, figure places do this, so like First Four Figures, for example. They give you the cards, like the actual cards, um, that come with an authenticity number. So that you know exactly that that, you know, it's numbered on the base of the, the figure as well. But you have a number that's associated so you can track whether or not it's authentic or not. This is just a piece of paper. Like, it doesn't have any serial number. No, like, barcode or QR code like nothing so it's kind of like take me at my word for it um so that's a little interesting they do add a little plastic for you so there's that i guess i'm not super mad at the paper though at least you can tell what number you are if you don't again if you don't have the the box so 
Here, let's just continue and let's look at the rest of the figure because I, I really want to open her up. When you pull it, pull it out, you're left with this. So two notches there for you to be able to like lift it up. I had to end up taking it out of its sight like you just saw. Because I feel like it's just easier. There's tape all around. I already pre-cut it. And then it's kind of telling you like which is the top piece and which is the bottom when you lay it on its side. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh my goodness, this is heavy. This is actually pretty heavy. Here, let's take off the base first. I mean, I don't know what I expected. It's a book and they're supposed to be heavy because they're supposed to like be able to weigh the, you know, be heavy enough for the books to support them. So, oh, it's so nice. It is so freaking nice. So you have the notch here for them to be able to fit in. You have like the really cool detailing on the side, it's like the trim piece. And of course you have the four nations, which... There was like a small controversy on this because the Earth Kingdom didn't have like the swirl symbol, so people were like, you don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> but they did fix it and it looks fantastic. You have like a weathering effect because it is supposed to be stone. It's not going to be perfect. Not if you have some avatar sitting on it either. The detailing is really good though. I very, very much like this. She actually is very stunning. Like, she's very, very stunning. I know it's a bookend, but I kind of wish she would light up. Oh, that would be so freaking cool. Even if it was just, like, her eyes and then the bottom part that lit up, that would be so freaking cool. Oh, what is that, like? There's, like, stuff on the bottom there. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's the paint. From they would when they would have like fit them to test it out. I'm not sure. So I will we'll go through with the materials um here in a little bit, but this is very, very delicate. It makes me a little scared. Oh my goodness. Can you guys see that? It's so thin. That makes me a little scared. I tend to like She-Hulk the crap out of everything, and then her ponytails are like right in there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> They're like a soft plastic, but this is hard. Interesting. Here, let's put her in her base. There's a little notch there, and then obviously there's one here, and she just fits right in. And there you go. She actually looks really, really good. Oh my goodness. Would look better if she could light up. Just saying. Could you imagine? Oh, that would be so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, overall, I really like how she looks. She looks so freaking good. I'm a little concerned about how it's going to look. Because usually you put bookends like... To the side so this is where the books would be and then you would see the figure from a side profile so you won't be able to see this unless you turn her maybe to the side and like that's how you're supposed to do it but based off the pictures it doesn't seem to be the case no it doesn't seem like it it just it just doesn't look good um so i'm presuming that you're supposed to have her on the front and unless you put the bookends to the side like maybe have the books like this on this here end I'm not sure honestly uh, why they decided to do it this way I'm a little confused on that um, and I will make sure I, I display them properly obviously when when the time comes I will also maybe they have pictures on the website if they do I'll put it on here to see how they you know put it together and how they have it looking um, but as a figure piece itself, it's quite nice. If you're not going to use these for bookends, you could totally display her looking face forward. Um, I was actually supposed to use these for books, but we'll see kind of how that goes.
let's move on to Aang. Okay, so same process with Aang. I'm not going to show too much um, in terms of opening the packaging because you guys just saw that and it's literally the same. But again, I did want to point out the 268 out of 1000 on the front of the box. And pretty much the same thing when you open Aang. Um, what is a little bit different is this packaging. So let's go ahead and look at that. Alright, so one thing to notice right off the bat is that Aang's box is overall a little bit smaller. Not too much of a difference, but I still figured that I would note it. And it, I don't know why, but like the box overall reminds me more of like water, which I think is a little weird. I mean, it's white, so it's like air. It could also be air, but I don't know. I just get more water vibes than like Korra's actual box. So she's from the Water Nation. But hers looks like more earth. I'm not sure. Like that's, <laughs> I'm not sure um, why they decided to pick the colors that they picked. But I really am not mad at it. Like, it looks stunning in general. So let's go ahead and look at all the sides of Aang's box. Starting with the front, we have Aang and the actual statue, and pretty much the same information as Korra's box. It just tells you limited edition, and it's the Avatar Aang book end. So pretty simple. On the side here we have like this beautiful blue color gradient going from like it's already pretty dark blue but like a lighter blue to a darker and then at the bottom again same info and it's exactly the same on the other side so let's just go ahead and look at the back for the back and arguably my favorite side it is oh look at ang he looks so badass but he's in his avatar state as well his arrows and his eyes are glowing i love it so much oh my goodness so, Avatar Aang's bookend also comes with the same paper. Again, like, no serial number, which I think is a little unfortunate. It'd be really cool to, like, be able to trace this back. But I don't think, um, Dark Horse has that type of system anyways. But, like, I don't know, some serial number assigned to it would have been cool. Uh, however, also to note, Avatar's is different from Korra's, so they follow along with their box themes, which, honestly, I really like. I like that attention to detail. Um... Even if it's just like a little piece of paper, it it shows that they're paying attention. And I very, very much like that. So let's put these to the side. I have little fat fingers. How am I supposed to do this? Wow. Also, oops, I forgot to show the bottom with Korra. So we can take a look at that again real quick. But... These look to be exactly the same. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they use the same mold for it anyway. So stuff like the cracks um, are going to look the same. Uh, they're going to be exactly the same. Uh, however, I'm, I don't mind. I don't mind. They did it so nicely to where it's not like thumb printing on any surface that I can call out exactly. Maybe for the exception of this one. But that's about it. So, I actually really, really like that. And let's, let's take a look at Aang. Hi, Rico. Are you looking at the figures? I feel like Rico would be... What would he be if he was in the Avatar world? He would probably be like Earth. He'd be an Earthbender. Rico decided to join us again. He graced us with his presence. In the middle of a video. How fortunate. But let's carry on to Aang. What are you looking at? You want to smell? Wow. I'm going to be honest. He looks stunning. Oh, and I just realized he's... He's like... Kind of sideways. Here, let me... He's being held up by his leg there. I like him a lot better than Korra. Is that just me being biased? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. The paint job overall, overall with these are actually quite nice. The lines are crisp. Uh, there's not too much bleeding over. 
Oh, thanks, Rico. <laughs> but overall, it, it looks really good. There's a little bit of imperfections, but again, these weren't that much. And honestly, other than that, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, so here's Aang in the actual base, and he looks so good. It is insane. Like, even Rico's like, man, they did a great job with this one. <laughs> I really do like it, though. It, the ball looks like air. I would say arguably even a little more than Korra's water. Because I believe that's... I'm not sure. It's a little unclear whether or not that's like water or air for Korra's. Um, but for Aang's, you can tell it's air. It's see-through. It's got like this nice little... Uh, like opaque... Or not opaque, translucent um, bits of white paint, but just enough to emphasize the, uh, the air, not overpower it. So I very, very much like that. Um, as to where Chorus is a little bit of color, it has, um, it is a little more opaque. Um, and the top of the base has a little bit more blue. I'm not sure if that's because it's like her robes or um, if it's painted that way. It's just a little more unclear. I feel like Ang's is super, super accurate dead center on the target you nailed it you absolutely nailed it so wow could you imagine again if they light up i know i keep repeating that but oh it would look so freaking cool can someone make like resin figures of ang and like the gang oh i would buy that so freaking fast and then have it light up i don't i don't know like i'm just i need more of that i need more like avatar figures <laughs> But these are really, really cool too, and I like that they were functional. That's actually why I ended up buying them. They're bookends. So if you have like a lot of manga or if you have a lot of books, you're like a huge book nerd. Hey, this is perfect for you. Absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, pricing. Pricing and material and uh, all that good stuff. Always my favorite part, talking about the money, of course. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about price. Both Av Avatar, Korra, and obviously Avatar Aang, they're each $79.99. So 80, 80 bucks, basically. Which means that if you want to buy both of them... I mean, I don't see how you would buy just one unless you want it just to display. But if you're trying to use these um, for actual bookends... I mean, 80 plus 80 is 160, so that's 160 right off the bat for both of them. Uh, not including shipping, which for me is going to be different for you. I don't know if I should include shipping or not with my price. Um, because I do live in the U.S. and it ranges from, you know, even where you live if you're in the U.S. So, um, in the future if I want to include that, I will. Uh, but for now I'm not going to include it just because it can vary. I will only include for now the base prices. So that's what it is. 80 for each. Um, I don't think that's very bad actually. They're very heavy weighted, which is perfect for books. Uh, even if you don't want to use them for books, they're beautiful to display on their own. And it's not a bad price tag, in my opinion. The painting is very solid. The detail in the actual base, very good. And even the detailing on the avatars themselves, I definitely, definitely recommend. Uh, for edition size, they're both out of 1,000, which just means that, obviously, there's only 1,000 of them. I believe in, even now, if you try to buy them, you have to be put on a wait list. Which typically just means if someone cancels their order, you have a chance of buying it. Because as of right now, it's technically sold out. So there's still a chance if you haven't gotten them yet. If you haven't gotten them yet. Uh, and if you have, well then hey, you're one of the lucky thousand, basically. In terms of the actual material for, uh, that the, you know, material that they're made out of. The material on the website uh, in, under the description says that it's poly resin. Which I think is very, very interesting. Um... I thought that the base really just felt like just resin, or I'm assuming maybe the base is just resin and then they're poly resin. I'm not super knowledgeable on material, so excuse me, but that is the material, poly resin. Uh, the sculptor, I believe it is Joe Mena? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, the painter was Joe W. Production, and then the manufacturer was uh, Dark Horse. So. 
I... I really, really like these. If you have the money and you can afford it, I know I always say that, but that's because it's important. If you have the money or the expendable income to be able to afford these and you really like these characters, I say go for it, especially if you're a book nerd. That's when I really, really recommend these bookends because they don't have that many that are actually geared towards like stuff that we like. So like cartoons, anime, whatever you consider it. They don't have that many that are this classy and this elegant. I think this looks so nice, which is why I really wanted them. And they're functional. I love that. I love when something is functional, but also fits my like nerdy like aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but these are absolutely stunning. And I just looked on the website. Uh, you can angle them a bit. That's, I think, the beauty of why they made it a circular notch uh, here at the bottom. You can turn them, so if you want to, and of course I'll, I'll display pictures, but um, they do look really good, even side by side, like if you look at the screen now, they do look very good. But if you want to see a little bit more of the character, you could definitely angle that. And I think I'm definitely going to do that. I think I'm going to angle them just, just very slightly so that you can see them out of my bookshelf. And uh, I will also include a picture of like what they look like in there. Though I don't know, you guys might judge my my reading tastes. And I don't know if I'm ready for that. We'll see. We'll see if I include it in there or not. <laughs> because I'm not ready, okay? I'm not ready. I read trash. That's what I read and I know. But let's get on to the conclusions. What do I think? I think these are fantastic. I've been saying that over and over again. I think they're definitely worth the price. Um, if you want something that's functional and nerdy at the same time, perfect absolutely perfect overall love the packaging it's a little more simple than i thought it was gonna be but it fits i will say that it does fit with the aesthetic of the avatar world um they fit beautifully i love that they went with the stone tablets with the four nations on it um the trim on the bottom the decoration very beautiful so i like it um i hope you like it it's definitely more of a unique piece that i didn't think i was gonna have on this channel like usually i guess i just i don't just do figures i do a little i do whatever i want that's the whole point of this channel i do whatever the heck i feel like <laughs> reviewing whatever i think is cool whatever i think is interesting and that's that's the beauty of it because then i can bring you amazing stuff like this so if you haven't already and if you made it to the end of the video go do all the freaking youtube things go subscribe go like um i am on different platforms now so if you have an instagram I'm on, Insta I'm on instagram i have a tiktok now i post there uh, quite a bit i am doing youtube shorts now so if you're into youtube shorts go ahead and enjoy that and let's see what else oh and i stream i do i'm dual streaming on twitch and youtube so if you want to remain on youtube to join us on our live streams please come join us it is a lot of fun i recently uh, actually today not when I'm posting this video, unfortunately, but when I'm recording it. <laughs> I've been doing uh, an unboxing of Animal Crossing cards and just hanging out with a bunch of people. So much fun. Uh, thank you for everyone who comes by. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, but yeah, if you like Twitch instead, go on Twitch. Join me there. And I hope you guys enjoyed. A little bit of a longer intro, but I'm very happy with these. I'm actually about to put them in my bookcase right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Rico's sleeping in the back and I don't want to wake him up. But he already sniffed him. I think he approves. I'll see you guys later. Bye.